Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. That's all we heard. Barbenheimer, Barbenheimer, Barbenheimer. The marketing for the Barbie movie was exceptional. I gotta say, for a movie I had zero interest in, it piqued my interest quite a bit. And the movie destroyed the box office. It made every other movie that had come out in the last little while look like a farce. This is Digital Charcuterie. Like and subscribe. Ring the bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We love talking everything here. Greta Gerwig directed the Barbie movie. She's directed a bunch of stuff. Little Women, Lady Bird, etc. This was her first, like, big movie, though. Like, this was a big... Barbie was a big movie, and it paid off. She has now been hired by Netflix to direct two Narnia films. She said in an interview leading up to Barbie, Barbie that she wanted her career to kind of emulate that of, like, Christopher Nolan, where he did a Batman movie, and then his movie, then a Batman movie, then his movie. She was saying that about Narnia, but now she was also asked about directing a superhero movie, and she said she would be interested. I don't know if how many directors out there would say... How many directors in her shoes would say no, right? Like, because Barbie was her first big film, and you need a paycheck, let's be honest. But anyway, so she's doing those ones. She said she'd be interested in doing a superhero movie. Now, speculation is running rampant about Supergirl. James Gunn announced his first half of his first slate, and Supergirl was on there. Uh, no actor announced. Sorry, Sasha Kaye, not yet. Uh, and no director as well. There's no script. Obviously, look, Superman's gotta come, Creature Commando's gotta come, and all that, but Supergirl won't be far behind. If she's not even showing up in Superman Legacy, we don't even know that right now. Probably not, but you never know. And Greta Gerwig's name has popped up as a potential director for this. This, this would put her in line with Christopher Nolan doing Batman. The difference here, and the one complication I see with this, is Christopher Nolan was given carte blanche to do what he wanted with Batman. Gre Greta Gerwig is more like the Edgar Wright type director. Right? She's very specific. She's like, I'm Greta Gerwig. This is going to be Greta Gerwig and you're going to like it or you're not going to like it. And it didn't work for How I Met Your Father, if you remember way before they actually made the new Ma How I Met Your Father. She actually did a pilot or wrote a script for it. Anyway, it didn't work out. She's very much Greta Gerwig. Take it or leave it, which I respect. I love directors. She has her own stamp, and that's what you get. DCU might not want the Greta Gerwig stamp. They might think they do, and she might think they does, but when they get together, it might not gel, it might not mesh. So she might not be the right fit for Supergirl. We don't know. We will. We may never know if it ever happens, but she could also be the fit. It all depends on the what they're doing with it. So that would be my one setback with Greta Gerwig doing it is like, will she? how will she approach it and will it fit in that vein? And if it doesn't, I can see her even just passing on it to begin with because she's Greta Gerwig. She's going to do what she does. And I mean, right now she's focused on the two Narnia films, which is going to take some time. So we don't know when we're getting Supergirl. Probably won't be before 2030 anyway or, or late 2020s. I I suppose so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below you down with Greta Gerwig doing Supergirl Are you fine with her just sticking to Narnia and her little indie films or do you want to see her come to the DCU or is there another project you think she'd be wonderful for let me know in the comments down below thanks so much for watching everyone give us a like and a subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe